Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring from Bolton, England, Amir Khan. A rapturous reception. He is still very much loved here in Britain. What is going through the mind of Amir Khan as he bounces, rushes his way to the ring? Three months ago, the future looked so bright. Less than a minute in the ring, his career was turned on his head. The critics swore round. How is he going to respond? Fascinating. He didn't hang about there, did he? 20th fight at 21, he turns 22 on Monday. He's got all the advantages, height and reach. He had to strip naked to make the 9-9 limit, Fagan 9-8-8. Three years, Picard as a pro. Five for Fagan, more experience, but the power and the speed with Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren in association with www.frankwarren.tv and sponsored by the Queensbury Fight Network proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the vacant WBA International Lightweight Championship live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. Your officials are appointed by the World Boxing Association and the British Boxing Board of Control. And your three scoring judges at ringside are, from Spain, Mr. Jose Martinez, Mr. Torbin Seaman from Denmark, and from Derby in England, Mr. Paul Thomas. Your WBA supervisor is Mr. Bartolome Toralba of Spain. Your steward in charge this evening is Mr. Phil Lundgren. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Mickey Van of Leeds. Your timekeeper at the bell is Michael McCann. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, from the Republic of Ireland. He is wearing the green shorts. Tonight, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. He enters the ring with an undefeated record of 22 wins from 27 contests with 13 of those wins coming inside the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from the city of Dublin, Ocean Fagan. And across the ring stands a young man who needs no introduction on these shores. Fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the silver shorts. Yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 9 stone 9. And tonight, he brings with him a record of 18 wins with 14 knockouts with just one loss as a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bolton in England, please welcome Great Britain's 2004 Olympic silver medalist. He's the former WBO Intercontinental Champion. And he is, of course, the current and reigning Lightweight champion of the Commonwealth, ladies and gentlemen, Amir Khan. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, fellas, you both had your instructions in the dressing room. All right, you obey my commands at all times. Oh, no noise with the head. Shake hands, cut it corners, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three minute rounds to the side, the vacant WBA International Lightweight Championship. A silent prayer. Are there any psychological demons? Is he worried about his chin? Will he be tentative? Tough O'Sheen Fagan buoyed by the fact the invincibility factor has gone. 
but is he anywhere near good enough to expose Khan again? The Amir Khan story that has had British boxing gripped in the last few months. Fast start from Khan with the jab. Yeah, we took a deep gust of breath before he went out, Amir Khan. And then it's down to business. And hopefully he can just get his concentration together. Right hand from Fagan. The message from Freddie Roach, who of course is stateside, is that he must take his time and be patient. But it's fast and frantic from Khan. Getting that jab going. Fagan not overawed at the moment and trying to press forward and crowd and close Khan. They've been working on left hooks to the temple. That's where they feel Khan is vulnerable and a body shot from Fagan. Much sense of the karma boxing from Khan, who's got his hands up, moving around, taking the shots very nicely, working with the jab as Fagan tries the, the overhand right. Swinging for glory, Oshin Fagan. Khan prods the jab forward. And the uppercut and the body shot. He's got the skills and the talent and good defences. Everything off the jab. And that's what he's doing. Beautiful headshots from Amir Khan. His confidence would have risen from the rounds he shared in sparring with Manny Pacquiao, where he very much held his own. Yeah, and you don't get better experience than that. Oh, right hand! Sweet countering shot! Down goes Fagan in the owner! Precise from Khan! Takes the count. He's only been stopped once in his career. Decent chin, rights again, blistering speed from Khan, down he goes, Fagan, bravely gets to his feet. But this is a sizzling start from Amir Khan, 20 seconds to go in the first, and this would be a perfect rehabilitation. And he won't let him off the hook, Fagan's down for a third time. Mickey Van says no knockdown, he was bundled down. Is there anything left in the Fagan tank? Khan, predatory, going for the finish. And the bell saves Ashim Fagan. And that was the sort of round Amir Khan needed to get right back on track. Yeah, he started carefully, picked his punches, worked his jab. And a beautiful right hand from Khan. Just a short little chop and shot, but look at the damage. It did. Excellent. Excellently timed. That's all this hard work, all the preparation, all the sparring. It was just a reflex punch, but that's what that sort of preparation makes you do. He was quick to seize the opportunity and rush in, and a bunch of punches, combinations going in. Have Fagan over again. Bravely, he got up. He's certainly got some, some guts, Fagan, but he's going to have to have some more. After that nightmare, first round in Manchester. What about that from Amir Khan? Oshin Fagan has had the minute. Is that long enough? The green trunks of the Irishman. Uppercuts from Khan, who in terms of skills is just levels above Oshin Fagan. Body shots. Rattling home. Then he covers up nice as he as he goes out of the way and then unloads again. Beautiful work from Khan. Yep, lovely jab. Not rushing in, is he? Taking his time and accuracy spot on. Good uppercut. Move really well there, Amir Khan. And again. Three punch combination of pure precision. Mickey Van is looking very closely because O'Sheen Fagan is taking so many of these clean. He's a tough man, Fagan, but he is well out of his depth here. 
Body shirt might have heard him there. Fagan blood from the nose. He just can't cope with Khan. And an uppercut. And he turned away there. Fagan hurt. All too much for the Irishman. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. John Green wants it from the tails end. Nicky Van. Oh, he's just about gone in. He took two or three more there. The Sheep Fagan. But Amir Khan comes back in style. There's the response to the critics. Yes, Oshin Fagan had been beaten five times before, but the manner of victory was very impressive indeed, Glenn. It certainly was. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., false fighter for good fighters, couldn't hand out that sort of punishment to Oshin Fagan. That was very, very good, very sharp from Korn, and a very confident display. Really did look magnificent. Punch perfect. A huge, everything right. a huge hug from Dad Shah. They're so very close. He's worked really hard, Amir Khan, out in America. And Freddie Roach, well, the word will get back to him out in Vegas about how good his young charge looked tonight. The towel comes in there. The referee hasn't seen it, but look at the salvo of punches. Left, right, then a left hook. Mickey Van dives in to save Fagan, but the damage had already been done. Just tending to Fagan in his corner at the moment because they were hurtful punches. And Amir Khan sizzles here at the XL. What was impressive was the accuracy, the speed and the accuracy of those combinations. He worked so well. Defence good, rehabilitation, fantastic. And Oshin Fagan's OK in the corner, and that's good to see. Welcome back, Amir Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 37 seconds of round two, your referee, Mickey Van, has stopped the contest. He deemed that Oshin Fagan was in no position to continue the winner and the new WBA international lightweight champion in the blue corner from Bolton in England, Amir Khan. Smiles from Amir Khan, who faced the music Ladies and, gentlemen, and the media after Bradis Prescott. And a positive end to the year. The boy wonder may just have become a man in the last few months. Plenty still ahead. Audley Harrison, Martin Rogan, important heavyweight battle. Olympic gold medalist against the prize fighter champion. There's Jesse Arabello with Amir Khan, the assistant who came over. Wasn't really needed. Khan got it all right. The American adventure, the training's paid off. And expect a big 2009 from Khan. The bigger test to come, but it was an important one tonight, You've wasn't got it? to say, well done to Amir Khan. You know, he's answered his critics. He come back well. He did everything that's asked him. He showed a real heart, you know, level-headed, did everything that's right. He's come back, put up a great performance. He accepted defeat with dignity, went back to the drawing board. He's come back, he's shown some great skills, and now he's well and truly back. Up at dawn every day, in the Los Angeles training, so dedicated, he wants it, Amir Khan. He's only 21, there's time. Let's see what he thought about it all with Ed Robinson. Well, Amir, was that exactly what you and your career needed? Yeah, definitely, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it was gonna be tough to get back in the ring again after the last defeat. But, you know, I knew I went wrong. Um, I knew the mistakes I exactly made in that fight. And, you know, Ozzy Fagan's a fighter who just doesn't go down, you know, keeps on coming. If you look at his record, you know, he's, I don't think anyone's done that to him. Um, and I said, whoever I was going to fight, I'm the worst opponent they can have. What was so different about your performance tonight? Well, you know, working with Freddie and Dean Powell and Jesus, Jess, uh, um, you know, it's, they told me to be pace, pace yourself, you know, be patient in the fight. Don't 
look for the knockout. He'll come itself, and that's what I did today. You know, um, I was catching all the shots, right? The defence is getting better and better. And, you know, the jab is my main punch now. You know, Freddie said you've got a brilliant job. You should use your job uh, to, you know, prepare knockouts and they'll come themselves. Were you anxious beforehand after what happened against Prescott? I know you were so positive in the build-up, but there must have been some demons there. Well, you know, I was a bit nervous, um, a bit more nervous than normally, but, you know, I was dead relaxed and chilled out. I knew it's another day in the office. I'm going to go in there. I know how good I am. I know what mistakes I made last time. and I'm not, I'm not going to make the mistakes again. You know, training with the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world, Manny Pacquiao, you know, that built my confidence up. And, you know, I went in there and just did the job. Motor Frank Warren, were you impressed by Amir tonight? And what's the future? I was pleased with the jab. That was the most important thing. He got it down. He was, there was a lot of head movement there and hand speed. He, I mean, he was throwing combinations going off his back foot, which is, you know, I've not seen him do that. So, was, you know, I was really pleased with that. We'll fight again in February. Um, probably towards the end, either the 21st or the 28th of February. Amir, can you fulfil your potential and become a world champion eventually? Well, definitely, you know, this is another stepping stone. I've, I've got through this now, and, you know, all I want to do is go up and up and fight better opponents, and, you know, I got beat off Brady's Prescott. It'll be a good fight in the future to have again. You know, I knew where I went wrong, and I'm not going to make the mistakes again. Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Nicky Piper, a really good confidence.